So, this year, obviously, the game was very interesting and very beneficial for rookies, I will say, because I think that definitely it will be a, play a playable game for a lot of teams. Um, so, our plan for this year is, I think right now we're going to be mo mostly focusing on a minimum concept robot. So, um, at this point in time, a fast robot that can score cubes in the, um, in the lower switch. Uh, and uh, put power-ups in the end station and maybe even climb as a stretch goal. Um, for, I guess, for our daily plan, we're going to be doing, uh, well, we need to have a chassis rolling by the end of this evening, uh, and hopefully by that point we'll have most of our code figured out too for the chassis. Um, and electronics coming together, and mostly today is going to be playing with blocks, so Hopefully later on you'll see a few videos of us playing with blocks with different intake designs and whatnot. Um, so by the evening we can kind of get a, uh, a solidified design on, uh, well, how the rest of the robot will look. analysis and um, so we've got a couple basic ideas so far on how the game might be played and so what we've done is we've walked through a couple different scenarios of what we think the game will look like at a regional level early on and then later on at a higher level and so our goal as an RA3D team is to create a robot that can um, perform at a high level maybe not as one of the the Alliance leaders later on uh, at champs and at later regionals, but um, as a contributor. And so we were looking at um, some of the things that we may be, may be able to do and contribute on an alliance like that. And we're looking at um, definitely crossing during auto and activating uh, our side switch. Uh, that's something that we think that we may be able to do in auto. Um, and then mainly spending teleop trying to get as many of those power cubes into the vault as quickly as possible. Um, so we have those power-ups available and um, generating five points each for those. And um, then after that, a stretch goal is we're going to see if we can hang. Um, we're not quite sure whether or not we're going to be uh, having enough time to work on that just yet, but that's definitely a stretch goal. And looking at that, uh, the point values on all of that, it definitely uh, would contribute a fair portion to um, an alliance of that caliber's score. Getting more into the, the actual breakdown of the score, um, we kind of estimated a, a score of between 350 and 400 for a um, really high level competitive alliance uh, on the winning side, uh, the other side being high level, a high level alliance as well. And we're looking at hoping to contribute anywhere from 150 to around um, 175 of that score. So um, in that we would be contributing um, 35 to 45 of the points from the power cubes in the vault. Um, we'd be contributing for across the um, scale activation or the, the switch activation in auto and then um, maintaining possession of that switch throughout teleop as well as uh, potentially a climb. <laughs>
made quite a bit of progress. Our chassis is done. We've got the drive base kind of mapped out with wherever, where all we want everything. Uh, the intake, we did a, a little bit of testing. We figured out that a uh, top roller doesn't really work because of the flex in the material that this, these bins have. Um, so we've moved on to looking at side rollers, trying to copy a, a, a 2015 style intake. Um, we've pretty much got all the general design figured out. Uh, we've got a lot of the CAD worked out for what we're doing. Uh, right now we're just hoping that we can get some of our teammates to come back. They drove down to Houston to get us some more parts. Uh, they'll come back and we should be able to move on from there.